and welcome to New Body. I am Latrivia and I will be doing a general reading for the collective audience today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for your support. So let's get started. You know, you know what time it is. I gotta drop my Disclaimer and let folks know that while I am a holistic health practitioner, I am not a licensed medical professional. Any messages that flow through me that discuss health and wellness, mental health, physical health, 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 just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on, okay? I do not diagnose, I do not treat, I do not cure, I do not prescribe. If you resonate with my message in a negative way, or you feel triggered, please reach out to your licensed medical professionals. The same uh, goes for any crime and violence that I uh, discuss in my readings. Just know that it is the energy that I am picking up on. If you feel triggered or resonate in a negative way, please reach out to your local PD or your legal people. All right, let's get started. I'm going to ring my singing bowl, clear the energy, raise the vibration. Allows for me to get a clear and accurate message. Okay, here we go. I love it. I love that sound. One day I am going to learn how to make it sing. Sing. All right, so today I'm going to use the Kipper deck, the Kipper Ish by iKev. Haven't used this in a minute. Uh, let's get some tea. See what's popping. See what's, what's going on. What's the tea? Who's in our energy? Just what's going on. Happy Monday, people. I hope that everyone's doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world when you receive this message. All right, first card out. First card out is blocked, and it's in the reverse. So someone might feel like they're blocked, but they are not. Or maybe somebody wanted someone to be blocked, but they are not. Let's see what else we have. Concern. Concern is in the reverse. Someone's not blocked, nor are they concerned. message message is in the reverse so if someone was waiting on a message it's not coming if someone sent a message to someone they didn't get it unexpected money though whoop whoop so someone's getting some unexpected money. So just going con going across Either was supposed to be blocked and concerned. Did not receive a message about some money, some unexpected money. Maybe they thought they were going to receive some money. They didn't get that message that it wasn't coming. Someone else is receiving unexpected money, though. Ice King in the reverse. So the Ice King is, I believe, he is the uh, King of Swords in reverse. 
King of Swords is um, shady. He's ruthless. He's mean. Um, swords is all about uh, its air energy. Okay. Air energy could be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But it's the karmic Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Ice King in reverse. He could be loud. He could be um, flippant with his words, cold with his words. That is who that is. So let's get some clarity on this. Uh, Blocked. So, so, <coughs> excuse me. Woo. So, someone feels blocked. They don't have access to you, collective. Or they don't have access. I lied. It's blocked in the reverse. <laughs> Maybe somebody was trying to block you. Let's get more information. Poverty. Poverty's in reverse. As is blocked. So if someone wanted you blocked and in poverty collected, either that's not happening or it was removed. <coughs> Priest in reverse. in reverse is, is someone who does uh, uses religion or hides behind religion does some uh, unscrupulous things in the guise of re religion um, may do some uh, spell work occult work and say it's religion or the people that follow this priest does not know the things he do or does behind closed doors. Star seed. Star seed Star seed is an amazing being. Not from here. From the stars. I don't know all the particulars on star seeds. There's star seeds. There's uh, indigo children. So there's there's a lot on this planet um, that people don't even know that they are or that their children are. But anyway, if you have star seed, let me get two more. Ice Queen. Ice Queen is the Queen of Swords in the upright. Ice Queen, she's mother figure. You know, good with clarity and thought. Ice Queen is Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Swords is about... Uh, Communication, thoughts, you know, uh, air elements in your head, that kind of thing. Um, it's the upright feminine version of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this Ice Queen is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in the upright. The good qualities. One more. Manipulation in reverse. So it could be that a priest tried to manipulate a star seed. Tried to block and create poverty for this star seed. 
Manipulations in reverse. The star seed and the, the ice queen can be the same person. Queen of Swords or the Ice Queen just means that uh, she's reached queen status. She does things in a queen-like manner. <laughs> she could be a queen of her empire. She could be a CEO, businesswoman. But someone tried to cause blockages in poverty, in poverty in her life, but it did not work. She is not blocked and she is not in poverty. The manipulation did not work. If they tried to manipulate her, it's in the reverse. She cannot be manipulated. All right, let's get our clarity on concerned in the reverse. Divination. <clears throat> Divination's in the reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Divination's about spying and scrying. It's looking into someone's life or someone's uh it's it's looking into something it's using um tools occult type tools to um uh, spy on people scrying and spying yeah. you, it could be used that way it's not the tools don't have to be used that way so it could be someone's getting readings on someone. Um, it could be someone's using mirror magic to spy on someone. It could be using black mirrors, crystal balls, crystals, that sort of thing. They're trying to get information on someone, possibly you. But it's not working. It's in the reverse. So either they can no longer look. They are blocked. They are, uh, or they're, they're inexperienced and don't know how to use it or don't know what they're looking for, don't really know. Um, yeah. At any rate, it's in the reverse, so it's a no. Either they didn't get what they're look, looking for or they can't get what they're looking for. But you're not in concern. Health concern. So health concern is in the reverse. Says, could say that uh, either someone was had an illness and now they're better on the mend. Or someone thought that their health concern was worse than it was. Or worse than it seen and it's not. Or someone tried to make someone sick. And it didn't work. Could have used divination to make someone sick. Or used divination to see if someone was sick. And they're not sick. But having divination in the reverse, I would go with the latter. Being that um, someone could have used divination to make someone sick. And they are not sick, nor are they concerned about being sick. Evil eye. Evil eye is in the reverse as well. So if someone sent Evil Eye to you, Collective, um, it bounced off and returned to sender. Could have used Divination to send Evil Eye. Could have used Evil Eye to try to cause an illness or a sickness. Evil Eye is in reverse, so <clears throat> again, either did not work and or it was returned to sender. Abundance. Abundance is in reverse. That means someone lost some money. Could be that someone lost everything. However, um, coins are on the front of the card, so I'm getting more so that someone lost a lot of money. A lot of coins on here. Coins are in the upside down. Coins are falling out of their pockets. Faster than they can get it. Let's get one more. So someone paid some money to do some evil eye or do some divination to cause a health concern and none of it worked. So they lost a lot of money in getting this divination or paying for this divination that did not work. 
enamored. Enamored's in the reverse. So if there was some love going on, if they had love for you, they don't have love for you now. If you have love for them, you don't have love for them now. Someone was once enamored. All right, let's get some clarity on this message in reverse. This message that was not received. In the distant future. So this is immediate. This is present. This is a message that was not received in the present tense. Fruits of the labor is in reverse. So someone didn't receive a message about um, all the work that they put into something did not work. They did not receive any reward. They did not re reap the reap the reward of the work that they've sown. They put in a lot of work. And they did not receive the message saying that this work. And this is current. This is present energy, people. Jezebel. Jezebel, according to the stories or the mythology or the legend, however it would go. Jezebel uh, was taken advantage of. She was scorned. Her man left her for someone else. And so her mission in life or the energy of life or whatever is to ruin relationships, marriages, unions. That is what this Jezebel is. That is what I've heard. There's other stories, so check that out. It's interesting. Anywho, looks like this Jezebel put in some work. And it didn't pay off. She didn't get a message, though, saying that whatever she did has paid off. Family. Family's in reverse. So either she tried to bust up a family or her family no longer supports her. Um, her family might have left her because of the work that she put in or because she's not working. Imprisonment. Imprisonment's in the reverse. So someone's not in prison. I get the energy that this um, this Jezebel-like energy tried to put someone in jail. And she was waiting to get a message saying that this person, that she... Spent a lot of time and work in putting them in jail. She was waiting to hear that they were in jail. She didn't get that message. They're not in jail. You are not in jail, Collective. That is the energy that I'm getting from that row. All right. Unexpected money. It's a mature man. Mature man is an older gentleman. It's in the upright, so he could be respected in the community. Could be a church man, like a deacon. Could be a retired man. He doesn't have to be that old, but, you know, depending on when retirement, when people retire. Um, he's got some gray hair, so I'm going, going with he's a little older. He's a mature man. He could have money. Maybe this mature man is about to receive some unexpected money. Let's 
see. Abandonment. So abandonment's in the reverse. Maybe someone wanted him to abandon this unexpected money. Why would you do that? Abandonment's in the reverse, so it's something that was not abandoned. Let's see what that is. Animosity. Someone has an animosity towards someone, maybe towards this mature man because he's receiving some ex unexpected money. Or maybe he's giving some money unexpectedly to someone. And someone else has animosity about that. Commitment. So in this case, this commitment like a marriage, a relationship. Maybe a married couple has animosity towards this mature man because this mature man is unexpectedly, unexpectedly giving some money. Let me get one more. For clarity. Protection. So... The money's protected. Could be this mature man's protected. Could be this mature man's protected from this married couple. Who has animosity towards him for giving away his own money. He's not going to abandon this idea. He has made up his mind that he's going to give away this money. He's protected. Let's move on to this Ice King in reverse. Ice King in reverse, again, you know, it's like unscrupulous person. Very mean. Tyrant kind of a person. Endings is in reverse. So something's about to begin. Let's see what that is. Karmic Masculine. Karmic masculine is in reverse. So in the upright, karmic masculine is someone who, you know, comes into your life. He has karmic lessons to uh, learn. And we've all been there, you know, not in the masculine sense, but karmic feminines and karmic fem uh, masculines. Yeah, karmic feminines and karmic masculines. Um... They come into your life to, to help you uh, level up, expand in consciousness, and to learn, to grow, to evolve. Comic masculine is in the reverse. So it lets me know that, uh, you know, someone may have seen the light and doesn't want to be karmic anymore, doesn't want to go through the lessons anymore, you know, wants to not live that life anymore. And the upright karmic masculine may may not want to come out of that life, you know. Um, however that looks for each individual is different. So I'm not going to say a karmic masculine is always partying and doing drugs and, and all that. Um, that can very well be a part of the karmic lessons. Alright, let's get some more. Moving on is in the reverse. So the karmic masculine could very well be the ice king in reverse. Or it could be two masculines. Someone doesn't want to move on. Let me get more. Someone doesn't want something to end. Pathway. Pathway in reverse. I get that this Ice King in reverse 
doesn't want this karmic masculine in reverse to move on, to get on his pathway. Pathway in reverse. Someone's not on their pathway. They're not in alignment. They're not evolving. They're not uh, mastering karmic lessons. They're not mastering lessons in general. I think this Ice King doesn't want this... This karmic masculine is in reverse, which says, you know, he wants to get on the pathway. Someone doesn't want him to move on and get on that pathway. Let me get one more. One more. Actual money. So there's actual money involved. This ice king in reverse could be paying actual money to keep this karmic masculine from getting on the pathway, moving on. Evolving, growing, becoming, you know, more conscious of the things he does and says. But someone doesn't want him to move on and grow and expand. 26, 26 on the clock. Let's get some, uh, what's the tea? Let me close out with the message. You have to be careful of the people in your circle. Not everyone wants the best for you. Not everyone wants to see you grow. They're not growing. They're not evolving. They don't want you to grow or evolve as well. Kissing ass. So someone's kissing ass right now. They want to be back in your circle, back in your energy. Possibly kick someone out, block someone out. Legal issues. Someone has legal issues, court issues, child support, immigration, RICO. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. Hustling. Making it rain. Focused on money. Getting it in. Someone's on their hustle. Always party. What did I just say? Someone's always partying. They don't want to party anymore. Someone's always partying. Could be in some legal issues. They want to kiss your ass. Hoping to get out of these legal issues. They're hustling to get this money. Maybe they owe money. Maybe they owe child support. Maybe they want to kiss your butt. So that you don't file child support. Or so maybe you... uh cut the child support or give them some slack or something. Forcer. This person forces things on people, forces their way, uses force to get what they want, so be careful. Love triangle. Someone's in a love triangle, third party situation. Have more lovers than they possibly need. All the drama that goes with it. Jackpot. Somebody's about to win some money, get some money. Unexpected money. Woo woo. That's you, collective. You're about to get some money. Unexpected money. Play the lottery. Play those uh, scratch off tickets. You might hit big. Creeping. Somebody's creeping. They want to see you get this jackpot. They want to be in your pockets. They want to kiss your ass. <laughs> be careful. They may want to come in and uh, if you say no, they want, might want to strong arm you. Just to get their way. Just to get that money. Because somebody owes some money. Someone's in some legal issues. So they see this... <clears throat> we have jackpot under legal issues, so they hear or see that you have money. Maybe could clear up their legal issues. 
Dodging bullets. You dodge some bullets, collective. If you cut someone off, you block the negativity, escape the crazies. You're being protected. You're being protected from your haters. Because you dodged the bullets, because you cut them off, because you left. You rolled out. You said no more. You're on your healing. You're on your journey. You're on your pathway. You're on alignment. Those who are on their pathway and in alignment, those who are not, they just you can't mesh. There's no um, it's an energetic vibrational imbalance for those two people to either be in each other's company. And it depended on how far you've leveled. If you're up here and this person's still down here, it's not going to work. And your your team is not even going to let that person who's down here get near you. Wolf in sheep's clothing. This is under in this is under forcer. Someone could possibly come in with the love bombing and the, the schmoozing and, and, and all that, but they're still a wolf in sheep's clothing. They want to get under your under your energy. Get under your good graces is what I was trying to get at. And get in your energy or get back in your energy. And it might go nicely for a little bit so they can win your trust because they know you don't trust them again or you don't trust them at all. And they want to get in your good graces. And then they'll turn. And then they'll take the mask off. Just had a confirmation on my phone because that says I am saying the truth. All right, let me see what time it is. And Oh, 32. Okay. Tickets. Let's close out. I love these. I want to close out with these. And then an angel message. You have the sage. The sage is in reverse. Talks about misinformation, deception, and arrogance. Sorry, someone's at the door. Give me one second. I apologize. So misinformation. They're going to come in with the love bombing. That's the misinformation, the deception. They don't really want to be with you in the way that you would want them to be. Just be wary. Just stay woke. Armored up, protected. The father. The father's authority figure, protection, discipline. So there could be a father energy protecting you. Excuse me. When I think of father energy, I think of Archangel Michael. I don't think of necessarily like a, a father father. And it could be that. But that's what I'm getting in terms of protection. But there could be a father out there who's... Um, Deceptive. Just because their family don't mean it that deceptive. We all know somebody in the family who ain't shit. Innocent. Innocent talks about purity, faith, simplicity. get some more on that the empress that is you empress you are purity simplicity nurturing and abundance abundant there could be a father figure coming in with deception thinking that you're innocent and pure or uh, what's the word Praying on your innocence, impurity, empress. Stay woke. Whoop. Okay, you got two out here. So you got the maiden in reverse. 
The maiden talks about naivety, vulnerable, disappointment. Don't be naive, Empress. Stay woke. That doesn't mean everybody you encounter, you know, is going to do you wrong. It means don't be naive. Use your intuition. Tap in. Hero. Close out with the hero. Bravery, determination, and victory. Don't be naive. You'll be victorious if you stay woke, if you tap in. Let me get this angel number. We've got close out. 385. Angel number 385. In vision it says you need to see your dreams in front of you the ability to live life according to your soul's plan requires you to make it a central focus and priority daily create a vision board by finding pictures and words that speak to you and forming them in a collage places somewhere where you can see it often I actually do uh, vision board parties and I talk about vision boards and I teach vision boards and things like that. It's more than just making a collage of pictures and words of things that you want and desire. It's speaking it into existence. If you put a home that you desire or you would love to have one day on your vision, on your vision board, affirmations, I am going to be in a home as beautiful as that. I am prepared to pay a mortgage. Use I am statements. You make it in the current tense. Present tense. Yeah. Envision your future. If you don't see it happening, then how can you make it happen? So this is your message, people. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.